guys welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here today's video i've been trying to do for so long and it was finally time for me to do it today's video is all about my amazon dog owner essentials things that make my life with three dogs so much easier and better and i just can't wait to share everything with you guys just letting you know a little bit uh ahead of time this intro is going to be a little longer because i want to do a ton of disclaimers so you can skip to this time stamp or check out the comments for like a quick skip but anyway um today's video i'm gonna be talking about my dogs they are the love of my life everything to me literally um i have three dogs if you're new here i will put a nice picture right here so you can admire their beauty um bolt is the one-eyed pomeranian he is very cranky <laughs> very fluffy they're all rescue dogs bolt was actually a big dog for dog fighting so he was very traumatized when i got him and he lost his eye thanks to our cat Skippy lived in the Houston streets for two years. He's a Chihuahua Pomeranian mix and he's very sassy and kind of a badass and oh my god I love him so much. He's literally such a precious gem and the reason why his tongue is always sticking out is because he has barely any teeth. When we rescued him we had to pull all of them out. Well the bed had to pull up all of them out because they were rotten because he would eat trash every day to survive very sad then cooper is my little big baby because i rescued him last year he was only four months old they found them him and his little baby sister and two brothers in a bayou that overflowed and they almost drowned very tragic stories but they are the happiest dogs ever and i just love them so much and i cannot recommend adopting dogs more especially in this time if you've ever considered it if you now have the time and the resources most importantly dogs are expensive um definitely do so i will leave some sites um that are helpful down below um but yeah i love my dog so much and i just i'm so excited to make this video oh oh my god i got my wisdom teeth out hence why i'm speaking extra weird and why i look like i gained like 50 pounds in one week which i probably did anyway um consult your vet about every single product i mentioned in this video if you want to try it yourself because I don't want to recommend something to you that might not work for your dog. And setting you know. Anyway, I love you guys so much. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Oh my god, they look so cute. So the first thing is this car seat that I was in desperate need of. Um, my dogs are Skippy. Skippy, be nice to your brother. Skippy is eight to 10 pounds depending on the chunkiness of the day and bolt is about 10 pounds um so they both fit there pretty comfortably they lay down on top of each other and cuddle and whatever the drive is about usually 20 minutes max um so i don't feel the need to buy another one but i love this car seat it just gives me so much peace of mind because before i bought it they would jump around they would want to be on top of me and then like they just have this little cubicle where they can sleep and chill and they love it trust me bolt doesn't like anything and he <laughs> loves this car seat so if you're you have a small dog and you take them on a lot of trips or i mean not trips necessarily but to the vet and the vet is a little further away um or you just need peace of mind and yes are they both boys yes and is my car seat pink yes and it's a, from amazon yes <laughs> So I just got to my parents' house, don't worry, I'm disinfecting everything I touch and there's no one here. But in case you couldn't tell who rules this house, this is literally like by the front door, like front and center. Um, so my brother got the cat for my mom for Christmas and then he got me Skippy and then I got Bolt for my dad. So um, this I got off an Instagram ad. I don't really recommend the company, I think it's really overpriced and kind of sketchy. And it took forever to come in, um, way more than they said, but it's called Iconic Paw and it's supposed to be kind of like a canvas. So here's Bolty before he lost his eye and then he's, here's who made him lose his, his eye. Um, this is my parents' cat and then Skippy looking regal and beautiful. So yeah, let me find everything I have to show you. I'm so excited. Also this, couch cover is from amazon and my mom is obsessed with it because cooper is a great pyrenees mix and he sheds so much we actually he looks so silly we actually had to shape off 
all his hair because he had a skin infection um, because of the heat and humidity. It's a long story. I'm not going to get into it, but that's why he looks so silly. But he is just the sweetest little boy. And look how spoiled he is with all the toys and the bones. I love you. So for Skippy and Bolt, this is my favorite shampoo. Uh, Cooper actually gets one that's medicated by the vet because he has like skin issues and a lot of like skin infections and things like that. I know that's kind of gross, but this is the one that they love. It's like $5. You can get it on Amazon and at Target. I haven't seen it at Walmart, but this is by a brand called Wall, I think. I don't know. There's a lot of like labels here, but it's the oatmeal shampoo concentrate and it's in the scent coconut lime verbena. I think that's what it's called. It is great for both sensitive skin. It smells so good and a little bit goes a really long way. I've had this bottle for like six months and it's like barely down to here. Highly, highly recommend this. But once again, always check with your bed. Um, it keeps them like super fluffy and soft and I freaking love it. If you follow me on Instagram, chances are you've seen me post about my mom's horrible haircuts to my dogs. I will put a picture right here. Um, she's not the best at it, but sometimes we just have to do it, especially for Cooper. Bolt is the only one that like refuses to let us do that to him anymore. So the amount of money I pay on a groomer is ridiculous because he bites the crap out of groomers and everyone. So they have to muzzle him, they have to sedate him. It's this whole ordeal um so we don't do that to him anymore but this has been so nice to have got this off amazon and it's a one is all professional electric hair clipper for pets and it is so freaking nice it comes with so many things and it's literally like 30 dollars or something so it comes with one of these um scissors and then hold on so this is it um but it comes with different so my mom actually cut all of cooper's hair with this also skippies and it saves you so much money in the long run just to have it around um so yeah i highly recommend it it's lasted so long it's really high quality for the price and if your dogs let you groom them think this is great especially now i don't know really what the protocol is with dog groomers right now i will find out very soon because bold needs a haircut but um if you're able to do it at home to save a little bit of money i highly recommend it so ironically i actually got this like the weekend before Bolt lost his eye because his eye was infected and it was leaking and I couldn't get to the vet until Monday. So I ordered this off Amazon and it's actually really good. He gets a lot of eye boogers and Skippy does too. So it's nice to have on hand. It's super inexpensive. I want to say it was like four or three dollars. Um, this is a clean eye soothing eye solution and it's just supposed to just like help them have like clean, clear, flushed eyes um, and just get everything out. So you can actually use this for dogs and cats according to the packaging and you just do like a couple of drops on each eye. I really like having this. I mean, like I said, very ironically, I bought it that weekend, but it's been really nice to have and it's just like a little dropper. Like I said, if your dog gets a lot of eye boogers and you don't want to just constantly be wiping off his eyes, this is a great option. Oh my god, I cannot believe I almost forgot to show you all this. This is not an essential by any means, but it's made our lives so much easier, especially during quarantine, that all I want to do is take walks. Um, this just allows me to bring my dogs with me. And Bolt and Skippy are not very good walkers they get tired so quick they bark at other dogs so this is just like the perfect way for me to take them on long walks they just look through the peepholes and they love it it's so funny seeing them in this people just like stare at me and smile um so i'm so happy i got this um i believe it's like around 50 dollars off amazon for sure and it was super easy to put together and it's very sturdy and very nice so i highly recommend it this is the brand right here so my dogs like i said are very fluffy um they're basically like two pomeranians and a great pyrenees mix so they have lots of hair and i have two hair brushes that i serve by Mostly this one. This one is off Amazon. It's like $15 and 
the reason why I love this one so much is because you brush them out. So this one is perfect because it's those really hard metal bristles. So it really gets all the knots out while still making them like soft and fluffy. Um, but then it's self-cleaning because you just push it down and then you wipe it off and all the hair comes out. And it's just so easy to keep up with. Um, I love this so much. But I also have this. This is a Ferminator. Um, mostly I use this for Skippy. Um, but Bolt really doesn't like it and Bolt has a very interesting personality where he feels attacked all the time by me So if I even get this near him, he starts showing me his teeth. So love my dogs But yeah, this one is really great as well Um, but it's just not Bolt's favorite So for nail trimming, we have two things So the first one is this one that's a little electric one And this one is more of like a nail file yeah, you can definitely see it. It is very silent, which is great for nervous dogs and dogs that don't really like a lot of noise. Um, this one is great. My mom did Cooper's and Lola's with this. And I think Skippy's, once again, you sense the theme here that Bolt doesn't let anyone do anything to him. The other one my mom actually has at home right now. It looks like this. And once again, super inexpensive. So that one she actually got for Cooper because he has like really thick big dog nails so she actually used out one for him and then this is definitely a must-have especially if you have puppies or dogs that are still getting trained or honestly my dogs are pretty well trained and sometimes they have accidents so this off amazon it really works wonders you just spray it you wait 15 seconds and you just clean it up and it really lifts any stain that's under there and it doesn't even have to be like a new stain I've done like older like stains that have been there for like a month with this once I got it and it worked just as well so highly recommend having it on hand especially if you have puppies kids if you are clumsy like me and um, this is great okay next up is this pet armor ear mite and tick treatment for dogs we actually use this every time we give them a bath and it just helps remove anything off their um, little ears. Oh, I love, if you were to ask me, like my favorite part of dogs is like their ears and their paws. I just, oh, I can't. So this is great, great to have on hand. It lasts a really long time. And then this is only for use on dogs, not cats. My mom has her whole little stash for our cat. Um, unfortunately, I can't really contribute to that if you have a cat, but this one is really, really great for dogs. It doesn't really itch them or anything like that. And I just take it like one of those big Q-tips and just rub it all over their ears, not too far down, and just remove any excess dirt and anything like that. But yeah, this is great. So this one I actually got at PetSmart and I wanted to have something like this on hand just in case like my dogs ate anything they weren't supposed to be eating. Obviously, not something like chocolate but just like a random sausage or anything like that wow a random sausage um yeah i just thought this would be good to have on hand i've used it twice i have like mostly everything um left but it's one of those things that better safe than sorry and good to have on hand especially like if an accident happens you know um and the one time i used it i actually used it on bolt and it worked wonder so i just have to mention these two toys they're obsessed with them all three of them love these toys but especially this one i don't know what it is about this specific toy it comes in like a bunch of little animals this time i got the fox and then at home my parents have the squirrel this was actually not this one but this kind of toy was actually bolt's first toy and he's so playful and cute and it was adorable so this one is like eight dollars and you might be thinking that's crazy for a toy but they go crazy over it i don't know if they like lace it with something <laughs> i'm not even kidding because dogs become obsessed with it so it has a squeaker here and one here and I love it and they love it and it's cute and I throw it in the washer and it's clean and this one I actually got at Marshall's and it's a little is it a llama or I think it's a llama or a lamb I don't know but it's so cute seeing Skippy try to like play with this because Skippy's basically the size of this okay definitely talk to your vet and consult him or her if your dog can take any of this please before you buy anything or give them anything um these are dog and cat i guess hemp oils they're supposed to be really calming for them and my dogs are very 
special. Bolt is extremely traumatized and he just gets a little on edge sometimes and just like bites us when we cut his nails or when we give him showers or when we grab him the wrong way. Um, so sometimes we do have to give him some of these to just calm him down and get him to relax a little bit. We really use these so sparingly. This is the one I have here at my apartment and this is the one my mom has. I've had this for a long time and it's barely down to here um, and this one is almost full. Definitely read the instructions, definitely use them very sparingly. For Skippy, for example, we only give it to him when there's a big storm because he's extremely scared of thunder and lightning. So it's nice to have on hand, but definitely don't abuse it. Um, my mom has also given it to Thomas, our cat. Um, so it's definitely like a very nice thing to have, but not like every day. I also wanted to do a few like treats and dog food that they love my dogs are very picky somehow <laughs> so i just wanted to suggest like a couple of things that they love but like i said talk to your vet about all of this so their favorite kibble is this one something about it drives them actually crazy so for skippy we have to wet it because it's actually like a little hard and a little big on him for him since he has no teeth um we got this at target so i should say i get these at grocery stores i don't get these off amazon so this is a rachel ray nu nutrish i don't know real beef pea and brown rice recipe bold is actually obsessed with this and it actually hasn't given him any allergies he's very allergic to chicken so i try to stay away from chicken for him and i do not know why but this is where i keep all the dog treats because if not they will find them so these are bold favorite treats once again they are steak um this brand nudges um, it's so good it's very expensive but my dogs go crazy over their treats so these are bolt's favorite and then these are skippy's favorite and cooper's these are grilled chicken and they have really clean ingredients um my vet really recommends them so that's why i get them but like i said pretty pricey this is like bolt's like bone obsession he takes forever to eat and it really keeps him like busy and he loves it these are from target and they're the buffalo range jerky kebabs and he loves them so those are some of the dog treats i buy for my dogs like i said always talk to your vet about these things but my dogs are truly and utterly obsessed with all of these i cannot get over how much like a freaking chipmunk i look it's fine i'm trying to hide it with my hair can you tell anyway that's everything for today's video my dogs do not have a bed because they sleep on my bed i don't care if you think that's gross I love them and they have to sleep with me. <laughs> anyway, that's everything. Everything will be linked down below. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it and find it found it helpful. If I ever find anything else off Amazon that's very like good for them and stuff, I will have it in like an Amazon finds and favorites video. But yeah, that's everything for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have a dog, please tell me which kind, how many, how old. I don't care. I wish you could, you could like submit pictures on YouTube comments, but DM me pictures of your dogs on Instagram. Trust me, I need it, especially during these quarantines, you know? Anyway, I love you guys so much. I hope you're staying safe, inside, healthy, at home, and I will talk to you guys in my next one.